you know, it's pretty soon, it's like, you know, pretty soon you know this and you know this, you know this and there we go. Bam. Yeah, that was better. Okay, guys, so uh, part two of our lesson. So uh, we we're going to talk here more about, okay, so going through the finish and not having so much the rolled and slung release, but more of like you hit it hard and you're still in the shot all the way through. Yeah. So we do that through accelerating our torso rotation through the, through the strike, okay? Yeah. So the best way to start learning that is to, to shorten the backswing and focus on turning quickly. So in, in, in rather than trying to, we, the, what we just talked about with the ball position and moving it back and having the ghost ball in the back is yeah. to make sure, boom, you get that great turn. Yeah. So now, you know, that's, that's one side of the puzzle that we can practice now. So it's like ghost ball, big turn, lateral move, back to the ball. Yeah. Now what happens after that, okay? <clears throat> so one of the big misconceptions in, in golf teaching that I see is uh, people are concerned, you know, they see the flat left wrist, right? We all see that at him. All the great players, you know, are like this, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, do, we, do we do that and just try and force that? Like I could come in with, with a slow club, I could just do this and have that flat left wrist, or I can do it through rotation, fast. So in other words, we want the flat left wrist to be created dynamically through our rotation because we're putting so much pressure on this arm in the club that the wrist ends up flat because we're accelerating through the shot. So I almost feel like when I'm, when I'm hitting the ball really well, I almost feel like my wrist is bent at impact because I'm trying to resist that. I'm trying to, I still want to use the loft of the club. I got a one iron in my hand. I mean, I need to get a little elevation on it. So I might, I might feel like I'm coming in like this, Yeah. but because I'm accelerating, yeah. I can't do that. It ends up flat. So feel versus real, right? The feeling, but the reality oh, okay. is that it's flat because I'm accelerating. I'm always the other way. I always try to feel like this, but in reality, you get like this. Yeah, so it's just the opposite, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do then sure. is take take some swings that are just short and accelerating here with level shoulders, that, that shoulder moving far from the ball. If we take a tape measure from the ball to my left shoulder, it's going to travel a greater distance if my shoulders move level than if they move this way. Okay. Okay, so we want to flatten out your turn. Yeah. And you got a flat club you're swinging here. Okay, so I want you to just take an abbreviated backswing. I want you to just feel like you're taking a half backswing and, and turn and go through. And when, let's see if that doesn't straighten out, flatten out that left wrist for you. Yeah. So let's get the camera over here so we can see his, see his wrist. So take a couple swings. No hard, no, go, go. That's not, that's not hard enough. Short. No, no, not shorter backswing, shorter backswing, harder through. That's better. Again, shorter, better. Hit the, hit the turf. I mean, hit the deck. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. So when I go short, I got to go a little inside too, like 430. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to come a little more inside. There. Um, hold on. I want to put a piece of tape on the ground because I'm worried about your low point. Let me, I'll be right back. Sure. Okay, so you went ahead of the tape. Yeah. Ahead of the tape. I want you to land on the tape. Short, accelerate, land on the tape. There we go. Perfect. You cut a piece of tape off. Okay, you got a little piece of tape there. Good. Okay, good. All right. Let's have you hit, hit a ball now. All right. Hit a ball with the same kind of feel? Yeah, sure. Half, just short. a little half back swing and rip through it. Yeah, real close. Yeah, it's better. That was a good one. Yep. Now what I want you to do is where you were setting up, Yeah. we're going to now move this to the back ball position. Okay? And now we're going to come a little bit more from the inside because we've rotated our low point to the right. Okay. So where low point would be here, understanding low point would be here. If I move the ball back, it's here. 
If I move the ball back, it's here. If I move the ball back, it's here. Yeah. Right? Here's my low point if the ball's there. Here's my low point if it's here, if it's here, if it's here. We don't really mess with this. It's a red zone. We don't go there. Okay. Okay. So here would be as far forward as you would have it. We're going to move it back. We're going to come in here and we're going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Short and accelerating with the level strike. I want your line of entry to be like here. Mm -hmm. Okay. More to the inside yep. quadrant. Okay. So more to 4.30 on the ball, right? Three o'clock on the ball, mm -hmm. right? Six o'clock on the ball, 4.30 on the ball. Yeah. Okay. Ball's back and this feels way back, right? Uh, no. No, it does. Yeah. Okay. Now I want you to 4.30 on the ball. Yeah. You're going to go short, mm -hmm. flat, and hard. Nice straight flight on it. You didn't, you didn't catch it, but... Same thing, I'm just never returning the loft. I'm a little above it. Yeah, same thing. I think I need you to come a little more to the inside because, you're, you're, because you're coming down pretty hard into the wood. Mm -hmm. So just feel like you're hitting it out to right field. Yep. There we go. Bam. Yeah, that was better. Now, when you see that golf swing, you're going to notice that your swing is flattened out a lot. Okay. You're going to see that the shaft is much more feeding out of your right hip pocket where all the great strikers are at. Okay, gotcha. Okay? Gotcha. And then from this view, you would see that you're not going to have that, that flip okay. going through it. Let's try to film one of those again, again Mike, from face on. Let's see if I can. So let's go back. Okay. Yeah. And just hit that way out to right field, right down the first base line. Oh, I did a huge backswing. Yeah, too big a backswing. That's a good ball position, you think? Yeah, is that back? Feels way back, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now just think first, you're hitting it right over the first baseman. Way out to the right. Short and hard. A little thin, but a pretty nice yeah, shot. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of addicting, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's it's hard, so. Yeah. I want to feel, through impact, I want to feel that left shoulder pulling it more this way. So yeah. it feels like yeah. it's getting away from it. Yeah, it is. But this is new for you. It's yeah. new for you. That's better. There we go. Yeah. That's what we want right there. Yeah. It's got to be, there, there does have to be a moment of some kind of calmness here before it totally turns on. It just can't just turn on right away. Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we're you're going to see some good things and so that's when. What's the homework? So the homework is to do these two things. Uh -huh. One is to is to have the ghost ball back here, okay, yeah. with the back position, and uh, you're going to take it back on the ghost ball. You're going to move laterally, and then you're going to hit the real ball. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's going to help you get a better rotation. It's going to help you flatten the shaft out. It's yeah. going to help you rotate. I mean, I'm sorry. You're going to transfer your weight laterally coming down. Yeah. And that's going to set everything up on the downswing. Okay. Then on the other side. We're going to go ahead and put the ball where the ghost ball was on, yeah. on the back. We're going to actually make that the real ball. Yeah. Okay. With back, you dress that ball and you're going to, you're going to naturally flatten out your swing because you've rotated your, your low point. Mm -hmm. You've rotated it to the right because you moved the ball back. Yeah. Now they're not coming down steep. You're just rotating that line to the right. That's going to flatten out your backswing. And then you're going to do a short backswing from there and accelerate through turning the shoulder level. And you're going to, you're going to get rid of this. Mm -hmm. yeah, flipping yeah. and all that yeah. stuff you're going to see it when you look at that you're going to see much better yeah. much better so you, you're working in this side and this side it's like two pieces of the puzzle yep. that are going to like come together mm -hmm. and after you work on that for a bit you're going to be like and then what i want you to do when you hit balls is forget about target just focus on crisp impact yeah. hitting it solid don't worry about lining up at anything you don't even need to set up at anything just do this until you're getting crisp contact with a piercing, aggressive ball flight. Yeah, okay, yeah. and then look at that and say, oh, well, that's kind of going, going to that a little spot. more here or a little more there or whatever. And then you can reorientate your swing to your new trajectory in your ball flight. George Knudsen in his book, uh, Natural Golf Swing, said, every golfer has a unique alignment. You know, it changes for every person. Some people set up more, the, the better players tend to set up left mm -hmm. and, and work the ball out to the right. You see a lot of that. I mean, Fred Couples, yeah. right, ways is like over here and he's, right, and you know, yeah. I mean, doesn't, breaks all the rules, right? Right. Um, if you watch uh, 
a lot of Hogan, you're going to see that ball flight kind of taken off a little more to the right than you think. Yeah. You know, than what it what it what it should be. Then there's the exception to the rule. You got a guy like uh, um, Bruce Litsky. You know, is a little bit of a you know, and Hale Irwin was a little bit of over. Yeah. You know, they even say Sam Snead at times had a little over. You know, would line up a little right and and hit a pull there too. Yeah. So, but what you want to do is you want to, you know, like, like Sam Snead said, dance with the gal you brought. Okay. Yeah. Hit a couple balls before you play. That's my shot today. Okay. My, that's today's body. That's, uh, my back hurts. Uh, I got to compensate. Uh, okay. That's yeah. what I'm doing today. Get out on the golf course, get it in the fairway, get it on the green. That means you feel like you're 10 degrees left then you just play that. The one thing, so if, the, if the ghost ball drill is making me take a big backswing, right? Right. And then the second drill is making me post through, but that's with a short backswing. When I play or whatever, is you're thinking like, if I work on those two things together, then kind of attacking it from both ways will give me like a play swing yeah. that'll, that'll yeah. have both parts. It's gonna, it, well, it's gonna help because it's yeah. helping you get a bigger shoulder rotation and flatten out your swing. And then over here, we're working on, okay. the, gotcha. you're, you're, you, you know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, Anthony's a professional guitar player. I'm sure if you asked him, you said, you know, uh, you, you learn this chord and then you learn this car chord and then, you know, you have to figure out how to get from one to the other, right? It's like, right. uh, eh, and then, eh, okay, got right? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's pretty soon. It's like, you know, pretty soon, you know, this and you know, this, you know, this, and, gotcha. you know, gotcha. I mean, I'm about hitting it hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's the one thing I like about the modern game. You know, hit it hard, mm -hmm. but I, I want to hit it. I want to see you guys hit it straight too, not just hard. Exciting. You know. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can learn more about John at uh, advancedballstriking.com, and his Instagram page. Everything to for connections is in the description of this video. Also, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.